Is there a special miracle you would like to see with your own eyes? Yes, oh my gosh. I've been blessed to see so many miracles. I've seen blind eyes open, deaf ears open. I've seen tumors dissolve and disappear. I have seen revival break out in uh, the brothels of Thailand when we've gone with teams in there to minister. We've seen salvations on large scale, Holy Spirit um, baptisms on large scales and larger meetings. I love all of it. I want to see more of it. Personally, though, um, for the, the, what, I want, what I long to see is more of all of the above, but I really want to see limbs that have been, the limbs that were missing or to grow out. I have seen legs grow out. I know many of you have as well, where God is bringing healing into the body and legs I've seen grow out as much as probably an inch and a half, maybe two inches, um, maybe, but easily inch to an inch and a half and, and obviously quarter inch, half inch. I've seen that, but I want to see where like somebody was born without a limb or without an appendage or they lost it in an accident. I want to see those regrow right in front of our eyes. I think that would be awesome and exciting. One of the things that I'm pressing in for in the coming year is miracles on a genetic level so that we see genetic disorders um, um, completely reversed right in front of our eyes. Whether that's stuff like um, with say Down syndrome where there's something on a chromosomal level that needs an adjustment. I want to see those things break out right in front of our eyes. I want to see things like Alzheimer's destroyed, obviously all the diseases. I want to see no sickness in our midst, but specifically I'm um, seeing limbs grow out that, that aren't there um, and see, I mean, what glory that will bring to God. And he can do it. All things are possible. And then I'm also really believing for miracles on a genetic level where we connect with God's heart. And from that place of connecting with his heart and his love and his compassion, his love flows into us, his love flows through us. And as we extend our hand, it's just like it says in Acts 4, he will extend his hand through our hand in that love, in that compassion to heal in notable and remarkable ways. And as we talk about this, one of the things that I want to say is I do believe that miracles in North America or in, in Europe will become as common as they are in like what I've seen in Southeast Asia, what I've saw in Africa, what we hear tell of in like say South America and Brazil. I do believe we'll see miracles at that level and that notable and remarkable level here in North America and Europe. Um, but one of the ways we'll get there is by remembering what it says in 1 Corinthians 12.10 where it's talking about the gifts of the Spirit. And when Holy Spirit is in us, we have the gifts of the Spirit. And it talks about how one of the gifts that we're given is the gift of the working of miracles. And you guys have probably heard me share on this before, but I think this is a good time, especially as we're getting ready to explode into 2020 to review this. When the promise of God is we have been given, in the spirit, the spiritual gift of the working of miracles. That word working in the Greek comes from the root word energio or energeo. You guys know me, I, I wrestle with the Greek pronunciations. But what that word means is this. It means to be active and to be mighty in. So the very key of being mighty in the working of miracles, to be mighty in the, in the working of notable and remarkable miracles is right there in the, in the root word for the gift itself. It's to be active. So the more we get out there, the more we work the miracles, the more we pray for the miracles, the more we believe for the miracles, the more we're actually helping to establish that realm in the earth through the substance of our faith. Every time we pray, something happens. Don't ever let the enemy lie to you that if you pray, Pray. Say you pray for somebody who's missing a thumb and you pray in faith that that thumb is going to grow out right before your eyes. Hey, I'm with you. I'm right there. I've gotten to do that. I remember getting to pray for a woman who had lost her leg from the knee down in a motorcycle accident. As I prayed, I had so much faith. I could feel it in the spirit. I could see the leg manifesting. It was like shimmering and I had total expectation in that leg. I didn't know if it was just going to all of a sudden be there or if it was going to grow out toes first. I I don't know, but I could see it in the spirit. I knew it was done. I prayed with faith. Now, in that moment, I didn't see the full manifestation of that. But the enemy wants to come in in those moments and say, see, your prayer doesn't work. See, you're not going to see this type of stuff. 
The reason the enemy does that is he knows how powerful the substance of your faith is. He knows as we're active in the working of miracles, we grow mighty in the working of miracles because we're establishing that realm. So don't let him lie to you that if you get into a place of faith, if you're in the place of faith for the raising of the dead and you pray and you pray and you pray and nothing seems to happen, remember you are something is happening in the natural realm, in the temporal realm. Your faith, the substance of your faith as you pray in faith is actually establishing a resurrection realm, a miracle realm. And the more we pray, the more the substance of our faith is released and the more we're going to see those notable and remarkable miracles, the more we're going to see the raising of the dead, the more we're going to see entire nations come to the Lord. So those are some of the miracles that I'm believing for and that I would love to see and I look forward to seeing because I believe we all will, especially in this coming season um, with my very own eyes.